In this video we're going to be installing Zulu and setting up some calendars for syncing. Here we are on the Zulu product page where we can download the demo version of Zulu which is a fully featured version of Zulu except for the fact that it will only run for two hours at, what po at which point you'll hit a demo timeout. You can actually get more time by restarting the web publishing engine um, if you need to keep testing out your solution. So go download that, go through the steps, and we once you have the file downloaded, let's unzip it. Look in here and we'll see we have a couple things. We've got FileMaker files that will be uploaded to FileMaker server. That's where we will configure our calendars. Um, we've got a Windows installer and a Mac installer. Um, I'm on a Mac, so let's run that. We'll just do a standard installation, authenticate. Um, here we'll set up the Zulu admin password. This will um, only be used to access the Zulu admin page. Um, if you have previously installed Zulu inside of the of FileMaker's web publishing engine, this installer will remove it from there and install it into our own instance of Tomcat. Um, and the installation was successful. Here we are accessing Zulu at localhost forward slash Zulu. And if we look in sync admin, here's where we enter our uh, Zulu admin credentials where we set up during the installation process. Um, okay, we're done here for now, so let's upload that file to FileMaker Server. So let's open up FileMaker. Sh sharing, upload to server. Make sure we pick the right one. And now let's browse for the Zulu sample data file. And we'll go ahead and open that. Here is the Zulu sample data file. Let's jump over to the Zulu calendar list layout. Here is where the calendar records will reside. The display name will be the name of the calendar as it shows up in Apple Calendar or Google. The database name is the name of the database where the events for this calendar are. And the layout name is the name of the layout where these events are. In this case it's Zulu sample events. Color is a hexadecimal value of the color that you want the calendar to have in, in Google or Apple Calendar. You can also specify that on the Apple side of things or Google and that will come through. Show days in past, show days in future just filters the date range of events that get synced to and from Google and FileMaker. Um, I have show days in past set to 30 and show days in past, show days in future set to 60. Um, let's jump over to our field mapping layout. This is where we will specify data pertaining to the events we want to sync to our calendar. Um, here we have the, the title of the event, also known as summary, and the date start, uh, where we can specify uh, whatever date we want. These two are absolutely necessary for an event to get synced. Some that we can leave blank are time end and date end. You can actually also leave time start blank, and that will result in the event being an all day event. Here we have alarms, which you can configure to go off, um, and some other some other optional things that uh, that can get synced. Filter by relates to the filter key and filter status field, so we'll we'll, we'll talk about that later. Before we publish, one thing I like to do is set up our FileMaker account with a password. By default there is no password on this admin account um, and iCal actually 
doesn't like that. So let's go ahead and add just a simple password to make iCal happy. Now let's publish our calendars. You can do that by clicking the publish button down right here. Um, this will run the publish script you'll see in the manage scripts dialog. Now this will prompt you for a username and password and this will be the for the FileMaker account. These will be the, the, uh, the admin credentials we just entered. And now you can see our calendar is published. So if we drop down the instructions to add our calendar to iCal it generates a nice little URL for us that we can just copy and paste right into Apple Calendar. Let's go ahead and remove this account so we can set it up again. So I want to add other account and now here we specify that it is a CalDAV account create that, switch this over to manual, and let's paste in that URL right here. And now here we'll enter the FileMaker account credentials that we just set up again. And here we are. Our calendar is showing up in iCal. To test out Zulu, let's go ahead and add, a, add an event. Let's go to today say new event test from iCal let's switch back over to FileMaker go to our last event and there we have it test from iCal now let's add an event in FileMaker and have that sync to iCal we'll set this for today Test from FileMaker. Now that should be it. Let's jump back over to iCal and refresh our calendars. And there we have it. Now let's delete this event from iCal. Jump back over to FileMaker. And we will see that this event is marked as deleted in FileMaker. So when you delete events in iCal, they don't get removed from FileMaker, they get marked as deleted. A one will show up in this field. You can see for other event that it's not, we don't, that, that field is clear. We could also delete this record, test from iCal, delete that, and let's run a refresh over here. And you can see that will also remove the event. And so as we can see, we've got Zulu up and running, two-way calendar syncing.